Konnichiwa. Hello, everyone. My name is Maika Yamaoka. I'm a JOY coordinator based at University of Memphis and Memphis Botanic Garden. And to, I'm from Tokyo, the capital city of Japan. Today, I'd like to talk about Japanese traditional patterns around me. So first of all, uh, let me ask one question. What kind of patterns do you find on your clothing now? Is it flower or polka dot, tartan check or striped? Um, I can find flower or some kind of plant uh, patterns on my blouse. And what about this? Have you ever seen this kind of patterns before? This is a Japanese traditional patterns and it's called kikubishi. And look at this. This is my smartphone case and you can see kikubishi patterns because I like to see the design and the colors of traditional patterns. So today I'd like to talk about Japanese traditional patterns. And in this video, I'm gonna call these patterns wagara, wagara, which means Japanese pattern in Japanese. So I hope you can see how I enjoy Japanese traditional patterns Wagala in my daily life. So now let me start again with my smartphone case. So as I said earlier, there is a kiku bishi pattern. And kiku means chrysanthemum flower in English. And bishi means a diamond shape. And kiku symbolizes the long life in Japan, and the diamond shape is often used for nobu's costume. And if you look at this one, maybe from far away, it looks like just a series of, of the diamond shape, but if you come to close, you can see a pretty chrysanthemum flowers. So that's why I like these patterns. And next one is my makeup pouch. I, I bring this pouch whenever I go and I keep my lipstick, tiny mirror, and band-aids. And you can see here, botan flower, botan pattern. And botan means peony flower in English. And a peony is a, one of the big flowers. So it's considered the queen of flowers in Japan. And it represents gorgeousness, luxury, prosperity, and love. So as the good luck symbol, it's often used in a formal, kimono, formal style kimono. And third one is also my makeup pouch, but it's a bigger one, and I keep my other makeup tools such as eyeshadow, eyeliners, and so on. And I think these patterns describe the scenery of, of the river or pond in the spring season. Because you can see here, uh, sakura petals. Sakura, sakura means cherry blossom in English. And also you can see here, the ripples um, spread across the water. And sakura, cherry blossom, is one of the most popular flower in Japan. And it reminds me of the beginning of warm and bright spring season. And it is also a symbol of softness and gentleness and fragility of life. The next one is my antique kimono purse. Uh, there is a seigai ha pattern on it. Seigai ha represent the blue wave in the ocean. You can see the waves keep overlapping over and over. 
and it represents that uh, eternal peace and good, good fortune. And here you can see Asanoha pattern on my uh, with my geta sandal. Asanoha means a hemp leaf in English, and hemp plant is a very strong and a tough plant, and um, it grows very fast and straight. So it represents that a healthy growth or resilience. So this pattern is often used for uh, children's clothing. And lastly, let me introduce my furoshiki. Furoshiki is a Japanese uh, wrapping cloth. And this is how, how I bring my lunchbox. And you can see here, camellia flower. Camellia flower is called tsubaki in Japanese, tsubaki. This is also one of the most um, popular flowers. And um, this is as a good symbol. Um, this is uh, also a good luck symbol because its leaves, its leaves are always green throughout the year. And I use different sides of furoshiki. And this is the bigger one. And um, I use this for I use this to pack my clothing for a trip. And here you can see Hanaguruma pattern. Hanaguruma, it describes the carriage with plenty of flowers. And the carriage was used by nobles in the past. And this pattern is often used for wedding or ceremony for newborn babies and other, any other happy occasions. So these are a few examples of my Wagara item. And I hope you could enjoy how I have incorporated Wagara into my life. And if you are interested, please try to find Wagara item around you. So thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again. Arigatou gozaimashita. Thank <laughs> you.